Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is of course new makeup releases and I am so happy to be here as always. This is getting old that I'm always saying that but it is still true. <laughs> I'm very happy that I'm here, that I can talk to you about amazing new releases. I had to really really restrain myself this time because there is actually a lot and also sneak peeks and stuff like that. So I had to try to cut the sneak peeks short a little bit because they're actual releases or at least where we can already see the whole product that I definitely wanted to show you before we go into that. I have to show you what I have on my face and that is something that has been a long time coming. I don't think in the history of uh, social media influencers, not that I'm a big influence but <laughs> I guess that's what we are called, um, or beauty YouTubers or whatever. I think in the history of us, this has been the longest time coming. <laughs> I I waited for this palette like about, I don't know, five, six weeks to make it to me, even though it was sent by Express. <laughs> It has never taken that long. It was an Express Camel, maybe, that delivered this palette. But in any case, so this is my first look today with this palette. This is the A Fairy Tale palette from Saints Angel Sinners in collaboration with Fairy Light, which is also Sophia Sadie. And uh, this is how she looks. You have probably seen this. I think you should check out this palette. There's also going to be a video I'm going to film definitely with this palette. I'm going to do a get ready with me and talk to you about something that I have on my heart to talk about. And as you know, I only really do that when I actually have something to say. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but in any case, so I received this collection in PR, which is this palette and also these three lippies. And I'm wearing this one. This is shade 38. This is what I'm wearing today on my lips. And um, I don't want to take away too much because this is just the first look. But sweeties, uh, this formula, uh, Darcy, the owner, please, if you're listening, never change this formula again, ever, anymore because otherwise I will not want to be on your PR list anymore because I'm completely spoiled. <laughs> I don't want anyone to produce anything with a different formula than this. <laughs> I really, you know, you know that I'm a huge fan of this brand, uh, but I think this formula, and I'm especially talking about the mattes, knocks it out of the ballpark. I think maybe besides Cosmic Brushes, which we are also going to talk about later in the in this video, which I'm also, I think this is one of the best brands out there formula-wise for me personally. Of course, super personal. Preferences, always super personal, okay? But for me, I want to say that this is right up there, okay? Like, do you remember in the OG times, uh, I'm going to put a timestamp here when I actually talk about new, new makeup releases if you came for that, okay? Do you remember the OG times when people were going on about Juvia's Place, those OG Juvia's Place palettes where they always said these, these mattes are so buttery and so beautiful and so rich and so, you know? That is chalky crap compared to that, you know? Now, I don't know about the Juvia's Place for, uh, formula now because I haven't used anything from Juvia's Place in over a year. And the last palettes that I purchased, which were the Wahala palettes, I was not a fan of. So I don't know what is happening now, but this is, I, I don't know if it is matched by anything. Just saying, okay? So uh, take it or leave it try it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's also uh, this cutesy bag here, which actually I'm not using bags, but my, uh, my girls are. So they are always like, they, they always get to open my PR packages and see if there are bags in it. <laughs> yeah. Because I never go anywhere. I do my makeup in the morning when I'm here and then I don't touch my face anymore till the evening when I'm taking off my makeup. Okay. So as always, please feel free to check out, of course, my description box, because there is a link to my link tree, which leads you to all my social media which I highly recommend for you to check out especially my Leora Cosmetics Instagram because this is where you get the flat lace and the swatches and of course close-ups of all the pictures unedited sweeties I promise you and we're going to talk about this topic um, in other videos but also a little bit this time because um, there is a whole big story why why I'm doing my pictures now the way I'm doing them now compared to what I used to do where I showed the whole face and I actually had no idea what's happening so 
you don't have to understand yet just watch videos for me you know okay sweeties uh, there's also a list of course with all the discount codes that I have at the different brands so use them or don't whatever you want to do and uh, by all means pay the full price or use someone else's code that is uh, of course completely up to you now with all of that being said um, do I have to say anything else yeah let's go in the new makeup releases this has been five and a half minutes I'm getting better each week I have to say okay so let us just move to the side and um, I first of all I want to actually give an update wait the drawer isn't all the way in <sighs> sort of blocks my thighs okay um, let us give you an update for something that we spoke about last week which last week was a sneak peek okay so and that is from indie beat cosmetics and we spoke about this skid row palette where i already told you i have no idea what that is but um <laughs> i'm always showing you how much i know about what's going on in the world especially when stuff is based on movies or on something like that i will not know because honestly i'm not against watching tv it is just if I ever get around to sitting down, and that's usually then after 10 p.m. at night, uh, then I will be falling asleep within three minutes. That is my life because I'm running all day and once I then don't run anymore, I will sleep, <laughs> you know? So I just never get to watch TV. So I don't know. And I'm honestly also, in today's world, I'm getting less and less interested because there is just so much bogus snap. <laughs> out there that I just don't want to watch it and poison my mind with it. Okay, Sweeties Indie Beat Cosmetics is coming out with this palette. Now I also know what this is referring to because we spoke only about the outer packaging last time. And this is a Shop of Horrors inspired palette. I have heard about Shop of Horrors. I have no idea what it is though. I just know the term, okay? So um, this is what it is. It's a single palette. It is limited stock and it retails for $30. It has seven mattes, three shimmers, two marble shimmers, um, maybe you can see also in this one shade there is a little bit of blood splattered it's of course not real blood but um, you know sort of blood splattered on one of the shades so this is one of the marble shimmers and um, there is a six piece collection that is going to be revealed soon in connection to this palette and I think the whole collection will then retail for $65 I assume there's going to be maybe some lip products or something we shall then still have to talk about it and this is going to be available in early June which is super soon right around the corner okay so this is from Indie Beat Cosmetics coming super super soon then let's also talk about Colourpop, um, Colour, <laughs> Colourpop. Okay, um, so let, let's just uh, greet this palette <laughs> with a big welcome and <laughs> standing ovations. So this is the Smoke and Hot Mega Palette. Um, it says here Spice Up Euro looks with 30 shades of burned reds, rich browns, terracottas and sparkling golds. It's available now. Now, um, I am a huge fan of bigger palettes, even though I always feel like in, in these kinds of Colourpop palettes, uh, the, the pans are very, very small and you don't realize that when you see it here. But correct me if I'm wrong because I have not bought any stuff anything from Colourpop in a very very long time okay now what I have noticed especially with Colourpop and also with other brands that um, depending on where you look uh, which sources you take your pictures from pictures look very very different of the same product okay so here this is obviously with my like I'm not an expert you know, in a lot of things, in most things, I'm not an expert. I'm just saying what I'm feeling. Okay, so this looks to me like it is, of course, photographed in very, very warm lighting. And we will have another, at least one more example of that later on in the video. And um, I don't want to say necessarily that there is a, um, a filter on it or something like that increases the saturation maybe I don't know I don't want to claim that but also lighting makes a lot of difference a lot more than I ever thought possible okay now thing is that all of us don't really walk around in warm lighting or in I don't know low light or whatever all the time <laughs> right so the product that we are actually going to get in normal light that everybody has outside your home or whatever is most probably going to look different and that is something that is starting to increasingly annoy me a lot a lot because i want to i want more realism 
You know, I don't want to have sold to me a fantasy of what it could potentially be in the perfect lighting. I want, I want to know what I'm getting and what I'm paying money for. That is what I want to see, okay? So, um, yeah, so that is basically that. I, I don't know if this is actually the product or if it is going to be much more um, subtle or much more, I don't really know the right uh, English word to, uh, to explain this. Maybe leave it in the comments if you have a better <laughs> understanding of the English language. But um, it would not surprise me if the palette looks actually way more boring in real life. Just saying, okay? So, and that is just an example. It is not because this is ColourPop and I don't like it. It's not true because I have nothing against ColourPop. I just like, it doesn't make sense for me personally to buy from ColourPop because I'm so far away and it's just, you know, and by now I have so much that I just want to only buy the stuff that I really want. And uh, we're also going to talk about that later on in the video. But uh, this is just, um, this is something that I've been noticing more and more also about influencers, about swatches, about looks of influencers, stuff like that, you know? And um, I think we really need to talk about this more and raise awareness of that um, people are doctoring their stuff and that is not okay, you know? Yeah. Okay, so sweeties, let us move on to Beauty Moon Cosmetics. And uh, I want to show you this palette. This is the Equilibrium <laughs> palette. A hard word for me to, to say. Okay, so Equilibrium. This is the palette. Very, very colorful. And it says here, this palette has taken me forever. That's, of course, the owner. Um, to complete and never thought it would ever happen. I constantly kept changing the shades as I wasn't happy. This palette was in the works for a long time before Criminal. The Criminal palette we spoke about in the last video. And by the way, because I had no idea if you remember last the last video where I spoke about the criminal palette what this color scheme was all about and actually the owner afterwards explained it to me she said that this palette was actually put together by her daughter and the shades that she um, felt go well with certain themes in like the criminal topic like the gray for the shackles and, and things like this okay so that that was the explanation and uh, that's really really cool you know so on here this is super a super super bright palette for the most part this palette um wait it says here however now i'm happy with the formula and the overall aesthetics this palette is going to launch it has launched <laughs> It has launched uh, on the 29th and it retails for $30. It's available now for pre-order and the shipping will start about a week into June. Okay, so if you're interested in this one, then of course go ahead and check it out. It looks like a very, very fun palette to work with. And uh, yeah, so let's see uh, what you think about it. Then we should also talk about Be Perfect Cosmetics because they're coming out with something that I actually find very, very attractive. And I don't know what that is in me and have been spoken sp spoken about this before already in my videos that I just don't know what this is that is that is passing through me right now. But this is the palette, the Gravity Shadow Palette. And you know the cold neutrals and the neutral neutrals. <laughs> and also just this, there, there is something so powerful yet so calm about these kinds of color schemes. and. This is, this is what I need right now because in a lot of ways I feel very, very shaky in a lot of things, in a lot of um, segments of my life. I feel very, very shaky, very insecure. Might not come across that way right now here, but um, my besties know that I'm most of the time struggling. You know, I'm struggling. It's not necessarily a big deal all the time, but just you know, I'm struggling in a lot of things. And that is very human. The way, the, the important thing is how you get out of it, right? How you overcome things. The, the thing is, the problem is not that you're struggling, right? So in any case, this palette just feels so, so healthy. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Gravity Shadow Palette. I need the powerfulness and I also need this calm spirit that is in there. And I think this is extremely sexy. Now this bottom um, bottom row to the right, that shade, I would have preferred if that would have been a pitch black. Would probably be a little bit more expected even. So maybe this version is much, much nicer, but um, I kind of love it if I have that option to go like completely, completely dark. Watch, watch me. <laughs> 
watch this I wanted to say because there is also a complete black in this palette that is overall not very dark and I love this because it gives me personally as a person who loves to have the whole range I love light looks but I really prefer dark looks but I also like I want it all excuse me I want it all you know so in any case that's that's what it is okay so it says here this palette contains 10 high pigmented mattes three light reflecting pressed pigments and two luxe metallic shimmers and this is available now for $30 in case you want to check this one out I think this is beautiful um, if this ever goes on sale I'm going to pick it up probably <laughs> don't be surprised okay now let us also talk about pout and shout uh, that is also of course a brand very very dear to my heart just because of the aesthetics and everything that is around this brand and how the products are being created and um, this is the fairy frolic palette there is the outside let me see if I have a picture yeah there is also the outside packaging and it says here um, check out the somewhat androgynous fairies picking cherries in their garden <laughs> so so cute everything is always handmade everything is upcycled everything is of course sanitized and everything don't worry about that and you can pay whatever according to your means so um, this palette goes for somewhere between 18 pounds and 25 pounds and pout and shout ships worldwide all right so that is basically what it is and uh, this is available now in case you want to check that one out then let's also talk about linda holberg cosmetics or lh cosmetics and they're coming out or she's coming out with the aim higher palette now first of all i love the theme I super super love the theme because that is something that I kind of want to like put on a uh, on a banner and hang it over my bed at night so this whole concept just like drizzles down while I'm sleeping into my brain I would love that I love to aim higher because I think there is something um, in today's society where we are kind of breeding uh, victims I just feel like you know, this whole thing about aiming higher would be very, very healthy for us to get back to. You know, that there is actually a gain in something very, very positive in actually working on making your situation better. Okay, so that that is... Um, I'm doing my mothering again have you noticed <laughs> okay so in any case you have this this palette here it is a nine pan palette and you do have I think most of the time you have a matte and a shimmer that are kind of in the same color and color intensity in besides the black of course and the yellow what am I saying <laughs> so in any case so that is that in case you want to go for this color scheme I think it is actually really really cute um, for a small palette you know because I always feel per for me personally small palettes that are nine pens and smaller are very very limiting but of course that is again of course personal taste but you also see the swatches there in case you want to check this one out this retails for $49 and this is now available now let us talk about Natasha Denona um, and you guys need to let me know how this palette really looks because this is the other example that I definitely wanted to talk about because I have so far only sorry for this truck honking his horn all the time I don't know if you're hearing this but I'm living next to a highway what can I say okay um, if this is the only picture that I have seen so far of this palette and this is the Yucca eyeshadow palette this is a very very beautiful palette if you ask me according to what I see here but here again I feel like this has this picture has been taken in very very warm lighting and I don't know I cannot be certain that this is actually the product that I'm getting because I do not spend my life under perfect lighting conditions you know um, this looks beautiful it looks absolutely earthy, calm, strong, everything that I want. But I'm I'm just always like when, when I see this kind of lighting, this like it's like it's almost like a mood lighting. And that is something that is just very annoying to me. I want to see how it looks in a very very neutral light or like daylight of course daylight is not neutral light necessarily but you know I want to see when I have those shades on my eyes how does it look for other people to see me that is basically what I care about okay so in any case there is also macro tech eye crayons they retail for $24 each and I think there are three different shades and then of course the palette for $69 and this is available now for pre-order I love the palette um it is very very pretty 
if it actually looks like that and again I doubt it just say okay so in any case let us talk about cosmic brushes because that is actually I think one of the few sneak peeks or if not even the only one that I am including in this video because it's cosmic brushes like if cosmic brushes drops a uh, drops a brush I'm going to talk about it you know just say okay so they're sneak peeking a shade and they're just saying what do you think about this shade so this is I want to say a purple pink shifty shade and uh, I am very very excited about this I have all of the previous palettes from cosmic brushes if they're they're coming out with a palette that has exclusively this shade 24 times I'm going to buy this palette because cosmic brushes is just that phenomenal the the, the creativity behind the owner is out of this world every single palette this guy cannot stop hunking really do I have to come out and do some mothering <laughs> the truck driver <laughs> don't get me started okay so uh, in any case um, all of the palettes that I have which is all of the palettes that they have come out with from cosmic brushes are just so unique so special and again like I said also in the beginning of the video that the formula is just so so like there is unbelievable unbelievable you know so I am super excited to see what is coming here I hope it's a palette. <laughs> I'm a palette girl, what can I say? Okay, so more of course uh, will be shared soon, so we definitely will talk about it, just so you have this on your radar because because I say so. <laughs> okay, um, sweeties, let's also talk about a new brand for me. There are a couple of new brands this time. And um, this is this is Mexicana owned, so I am going to butcher this name, not willingly, just because I have no knowledge of this. Okay, so um, as always, of course, I'm putting the name of the brand down here, so you will be able to laugh at me and tell me how one really pronounces this. So I'm going to say that this is um, Holissima Beauty. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but they're coming out with the bubblegum collection. So there is a nine pen palette, which you can see here. It has two shimmers and one pressed glitter. It is available now for $23. And there is a collection, so there might be more. So please, of course, feel free to check out that brand. This is though all I know as of right now while I'm looking here at this post, okay? So this nine pen palette, of course, pressed glitter in the palette. You need to know if you like that or not. I used to very, very much like it. Now, as I've already told you a couple of times, I have moved to loose glitter because for me that works better. In my, maybe, I don't know if it's my eye shape or my age or the creasing or the whatever it is. For me, I love glitter, you know. Like I almost consider it a, a, a mental health um, I don't know, component. Like if, if, if I put on glitter, I feel better. I feel more sparkly and then the universe kind of kicks up more sparkles in my life, in a way. <laughs> Very dramatic. But um, that is just me. So feel free to check this one out. Of course, it is a very, very lovely color scheme and um, support a new brand, right? Okay, sweeties, that was that. That was Holissima, I think. Holissima Beauty, okay? Then we should also talk about this one. This is coming from Anastasia Beverly Hills, a new palette. Um, this is the, what's it called? Cosmos palette. Okay, um, I have to say that the palette looks much, much nicer to me on the swatches. I think the swatches are really, really nice and show you more about the range of the palette. And that is nice because also when you see the mattes, you see that they are actually really, really deep and there is a nice range within the mattes, which is the most important thing for me in a palette. Okay, so the top row... Wait, the top row is all mattes. I think they are referring to the swatches because the top row in the palette is not all mattes. Okay, the bottom row is all multi-dimensional clusters of reflective cosmic dust that stun and delights in any lighting condition. Okay, <laughs> all right, I don't know. Um, have I tried a lot of ABH? Not really. The only thing that I consistently use from ABH is the eyeshadow primer, which I really, really like. I have though uh, now started to use also the one from Ace Boutte because I got that as a gift um, together with the floral collection that I just received. So, um, and it's actually also a very good primer, but I have only used it two, three times. So we shall see. So this is launching on June 6th and this is, um, this is the palette. Now, overall, I think it is very... 
I don't know. I don't want to say too normal because that is just a stupid thing to say. But um, I think the range, especially of the mattes, is nice. And of course, the shimmers work very well with the color scheme of the mattes. So I guess it's a good palette. <laughs> Yeah, so you let me know if, if you're gonna get this. Okay, let us talk about Moira Cosmetics definitely because I want them to just wrap this release up and send it to me. <laughs> okay, so Moira Cosmetics is coming out with 10 shades of Supernova Multichrome Gel Liners. These are launching on the 1st of June and they retail for $6 each. There is also going to be a bundle version uh, available and this is a waterproof formula and I want the whole bundle. <laughs> So yeah, just saying, especially the green. The green looks actually exactly like the shade that I have here on my on my lid, which which looks like this. I don't know if it comes across on camera right now. This is a beautiful multi-chrome and I paired it up with this one. So, but the, uh, the liner, the green liner actually looks like this. Okay, so super, super beautiful. Loving it, loving the price point. Super, super nice. <laughs> Go Moira Cosmetics. All right, sweeties, then we also definitely need to talk about Sydney Grace because they are collabing with Glitzy Fr which I think her name is Mary, is it? Yes, Mary. And she is the collab partner uh, and she has come out with this palette. Now the palette that you see here is the same palette. It's just two sides of the same palette, okay? So this is the Blessed palette. And uh, Mary, she says, uh, wait, I, I need to read this to you because I don't want to make this up. Um, she says in her in her bio of her um, Instagram, she says, I'm Mary and I am 60 years old and old, wait, Sorry. Okay, I'm Mary and I'm a 60 year old glitzy gal and you better believe I'm Fritzy. <laughs> Have you ever heard a 60 year old talk about herself like that? That is so, so cool and so sweet and so amazing and kind of like really like so, <laughs> so cool. So uh, yeah, I've never heard of her honestly, but it says you're in the post that she has a YouTube channel. So definitely uh, check out Glitzy Fritzy Mary and, um, and support this release if you want to. Um, also this release, there is um, a lot of softness in the palette. There are also, of course, a nice depth, like options for depth, but mostly I think this is um, a softer, lighter color scheme, which is of course, I think something that most people would prefer and, and wait for and want. So this is coming on June 7th and uh, it retails for $52, all right? So that is basically what it is from Sydney Grace in collaboration with Mary. Uh, and con congratulations to Mary, <laughs> glitzy fritzy. Okay, now let us also talk to um, about, let us talk about a new brand and uh, that is Kaiwi Cosmetics. Kiwi or Kiwi, I don't know. As always, of course, uh, you can read it for yourself. And they're coming out with the Lux Life palette. And that is, this color scheme is what I imagine that the Natasha Denona palette really looks like. You know, it is close, yes, but is it the same? No. <laughs> You know what I mean? So in any case, you also see the swatches here. I think the palette is actually super, super nice and it only retails for $22. You know, it's 15 beautiful shades with five mattes, five glitters and five foiled finishes. Now, of course, again, you need to know that you like to have pressed glitters in the palette and then you will probably enjoy this palette, you know? All right, so this is uh, now available in case you wanna check this one out from Kaiwi Cosmetics. Okay, then we definitely also need to talk about LEJ Beauty, which is also a new brand for me, and they're coming out with this. This is the Spicy Brain series that has three new gorgeous color multi-chrome liquid shadows. A very long description inspired by mental health awareness so these shades represent self-love purpose and compassion all of them together in a bundle retail for 36 dollars or you can buy them separately for 14 dollars each and then there's also a pin and a sticker Okay, so in any case, 10% of the profits from these multi-chromes will be donated to NAMI Communicate. Don't know what that is, probably something regarding mental health. This month in support of the National Alliance, there you go, on mental health illness and their incredible work nationwide, providing help, tools and resources to so many. All of this is available now from LEJ Beauty. So first of all, super, super nice that, um, you know, doing something with the thought of mental health, that is, um, you know, it is something so many people, including me, struggle with a lot. And that is also something that when I so told you earlier that I'm just struggling in certain things, this is one of my struggles. This is one of my bigger ones, okay? so. 
and they look really really beautiful shifting at the green <laughs> just catch me with greens seriously okay so this is from lj beauty this is available now check it out then oh dear terra moons terra moons is dropping the summer 23 eyeshadow collection this collection includes 11 shades launching on it has launched it's probably sold out by now so congratulations <laughs> yeah th this this sweeties look at the swatches and just keep drooling till like till the end of the video because this is just unbelievably beautiful i am a huge fan of terra moons i have um i have a, a palette one palette of singles that I actually received from my bestie, uh, God bless her, that she gifted them to me. Super, super nice. Absolutely stunning. I have to say that my shades look underwhelming in the palette, but once you put them on your eyes, it is like there is no, there, there, there are no words, you know? So yeah, um, that is basically what I also see here, you know, when you just see them in the pans on that picture. And also here, this is low light. You know, this is low light and sometimes I feel like, I feel like um, sometimes you need different lighting to, to just capture the shades, but I think then you should disclose it in the post, you know? Let me know what you think about that. But in any case, this uh, looks like a low light coming from the side. You know, but in any case, um, they look like rather normal shades and with normal light, they probably look less spectacular. Let's just be honest. But again, like in my single collection from Terra Moons, uh, the, the second you have them on their eyes, it is unbelievable. It's unbelievable, you know, and I'd rather have it like that than, for example, seeing people um, doing flat lace that look amazing or swatches that look amazing and then it turns out that when you're actually and you're ordering it because of that and then when you're actually getting it it is a complete failure in the sense of that you're completely underwhelmed by the performance of the shades because the swatches were doctored or they were done with a certain base under it or a certain way to swatch it or whatever or certain lighting while filming it or taking pictures and nobody ever gets to do that on their eyes and the shades actually don't look like that so with this it is the the healthy opposite you know they actually look phenomenal so that long speech okay sweeties let's talk about ladybug glow because they're coming out uh, with the pond lily eyeshadow palette i wait eyeshadow pressed pigments palette it consists of 12 shades featuring six uh it's so cute it says here bendable mattes i think it, it was meant to blendable um six blendable mattes five duochrome shifty sparkly shades and one smooth multi-chrome and this retails for $37.50 and um, then there's also a rainbow single multi-chrome eyeshadow for $12.50 which you see of course in the bottom there um, on the bottom in the middle so this is available now from ladybug glow this is a very very pretty palette sweeties very very pretty because it kind of combines my most favorite shades with the um nature bound earthiness that i like you know so um yeah it's beautiful you also see the swatches there of course looks absolutely stunning so just saying okay um the highlighter did i did i tell you wait there are there are also highlighters you see in that smaller picture maybe i'll find a bigger one and put it up um can you not move my softbox sweetie dog <laughs> um the highlighters retail for 12 dollars and uh right and then that single shadow that is 12 dollars 50. Okay, sweeties, let us move on to Bojona Cosmetics, which of course I also don't know how to pronounce. This is the Aesthetic Palette, 12 shades featuring 8 mattes and 4 shimmers. First of all, that's a beautiful ratio. 12, uh, 12 shades, 8 mattes and 4 shimmers is beautiful. This retails for about $24 and it's available now. And um, this is what she looks like. It is a very, very light it kind of feels like a very very much like a springtime palette to me you know but it's very very cute it also has um flowers and hearts and stuff on the outer packaging so that kind of gives me like a light-hearted vibe which is uh, also what i see in the palette so that is from Bujuna cosmetics i wonder really how to say this I don't know. Okay, then let's definitely also talk about Nomad Cosmetics because a Nomad has, of course, by now dropped the Okavanga Safari palette. And if you're following me on my social media, then you have seen already four looks that I have posted with this palette. It is also a very, very earthy palette, very not not only earthy yes it is it's very nature bound and i really really like that 
I also just like this special touch that they, um, the owners of Nomad Cosmetics just always put into their palettes when you also see for example this uh, white and black shade that's of course a shimmer shade and then when you actually use it it turns into a so so beautiful um I don't even know how to describe this a beautiful gray which is then not only representing of course a zebra but also for me that's an elephant right um and that's just so so cool so this is very very beautiful i have to say to though to completely transparent that what you see here my palette looks i think a little bit more muted than what I see here in the uh, in the picture so I don't know if there is also a certain issue of lighting or something like this just um, just so you know mine looks a little bit more muted you know so this retails for $42 this is not limited edition so you will probably have time to purchase this in case you want to and this has launched already and I'm super super happy for them to have launched something so so nice also see here the outer packaging of the sleeve is just so pretty and then the outer packaging of this like really right so so pretty yeah so that's the okavanga safari i just you know what I, i'm just so so jealous because i want to go to all these places i really truly do like uh, to have a a thing that you're going to different places and then creating makeup according to these places however you personally feel those places in the color scheme and that's also something i need to say mothering coming up all these people that are constantly um judging nomad cosmetics and i'm not necessarily talking about this palette but you know there was the tokyo palette and all kinds of palettes beforehand where uh, people are saying this doesn't look at all like this and that and this place or that place sweeties uh, we are all experiencing places differently you know and I had a very very interesting conversation with my bestie about this release actually because we really both think that this is a very beautiful release and we were talking about how do we see the safari theme you know and um, and it's very very interesting how we are all different and how we have associations in our mind for the same topic that go completely in like different directions and we need to give Nomad Cosmetics and all the other brands the freedom of space to move into their creativity you know just saying okay mothering finished for now <laughs> okay then let's go to Moonslice Beauty because they're coming out with the Rosalie Del Delgado and Moonslice Beauty 21 Pro color palette collaboration this is a collaboration with um, Rosalie Del Delgado uh, I wonder when I'm getting this name right. Okay, so 21 shades for $35 and uh, then you also have the quads there. Seven different quads that retail for $12 each. Okay, I want to talk about the palette though because that is the most important thing that like the big palette uh, quads I don't use voluntarily so but of course you check them out if you want to but I really 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 like the palette because of all the depth all the range the slight variations in those dark shades it is just drawing me in so much even though it is a very very neutral palette but there is something so so powerful about super dark mattes and I kind of feel like first of all it makes it more versatile for a broader spectrum of people because there are also lighter shades and if you have a lighter skin tone and you're not so much into dark mattes then you could still theoretically use it but it might not make a whole lot of sense to buy a palette that has a very very large range of dark mattes but in any case uh, for me personally this is super attractive super super attractive all right so this is available now from moon slice beauty in case you want to check this one out and then we also need to talk about this one this is also a new brand for me and that is batuti batuti i think okay so they're coming out with a three eyeshadow palette six pen palette um and i think they're called what the soldier the poet and the king that is a very cool theme you know really really cool you see of course the different themes there is one that is more blue and gray and black then of course one that is more actually the other two the, the greenish one and the more the one with the red packaging um they are both i feel more more earthy in their own way so a really really nice release they retail for 23 dollars each and then there are also three cream lipsticks for 16 dollars each you can have the whole bundle for a hundred dollars and this is available now for pre-order from batuti and uh, the pre-order will close on july 4th 
true? Yes, July 4th. Okay, so this is really, really cute. Again, six pen palettes, not necessarily what I prefer to use. I'm, I'm a big palette girl, but I think that is nonetheless a very, very a beautiful release. And, um, and also the colors of the lipsticks are just really, really pretty, really pretty. So, and I think, uh, you know, for a wide range of customers, they could be very pretty. Yeah. Okay, sweeties, then let's um, go to honestly my personal highlight of this week. And that is something that I've been waiting for because when I saw the sneak peek of the new release from Jolie Beauty, I was, uh, I think I saw like a pirate ship. And me and my bestie talking again about that. And uh, we were like, oh no, there is another uh, underwater theme coming. And we are kind of getting over it a little bit. Um, because of course you know we had several Ariel based Ariel the Mermaid and whatever and then uh, releases and then also the uh, the seahorse palette and then the one from what what was it the Cleonat um, I forgot the name the Cleonat palette was also an underwater theme and it's like you know we're getting it it we can do something else now you know but I have to say when I saw this I have no question in my mind that I at least at least at least need to have the palette Definitely. Okay, so this is the Siren collection and sirens I think are not necessarily in the water. I don't know though. Is it like a mermaid? No, right? Sirens are the ones that are sitting on the rocks and like crying to the sailors. Not crying. Singing? Singing <laughs> and luring them into like traps, right? That's like me and my husband. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in any case, uh, I, I very much relate to the siren theme and I think that the color scheme is unbelievably beautiful. Un Believable. Okay, now here also again, I have to say that um, it looks like this has been photographed in low light. So I'm definitely going to also try to find uh, pictures before I make my, wait, now I just lost my page, um, before I make my purchase decision. But what I can see from right now here, I am super, super interested. And color scheme wise, this looks absolutely uh, stunning. I don't even, I cannot even, you know? So the palette, all of this is available now. The palette has, wait, creamy mattes, popping shimmers, multi-chromes, and new chameleon pressed glitters. Again, you need to know if you want that. $49, okay? Then you have four Chameleon Cream eyeshadow pods. Um, not necessarily for me because cream products are very problematic on my aging eyelids, so I might skip on that one. Then you do have two holographic lip glosses in, well, two different shades, for $19 each. Did I tell you the price for the Chameleon Cream pods are $22 each or $66 for the bundle, okay? Then you have, of course, the lip glosses for $19 each. Then you do have the new Air Matte Lip liquid lipstick in the shade Siren. It's a dark teal for $17 and four new liquid multi-chrome liquid shadows for $19 each or $55 for the bundle. You can have the whole bundle, everything together for $222. <laughs> Yeah, okay, and this is available now. Okay, so Julie Beauty is of course based in the UK, so just so you know, the palette looks beautiful. But listen, if you if you see, I'm gonna put the two palettes up. One is in, in lighter lighting and one is in the low light. You can see already, I just saw this now. Um, you can see that there is a difference and this is what I'm talking about. You need to know what you're getting, you know? And I think I'm going to see myself like here. I think it's okay because the brand actually shows it to us. They give us the option to see it in different lighting and that I'm cool with. Absolutely. Okay. I like, I'm not saying people should not do low light or whatever. I just say we should have the option of seeing the whole thing. And this is actually a very, very good execution of that. Um, what I am completely against it is when brands withhold it from us and make us feel like, um, you know, the very, very saturated picture, that is actually what we're getting because that is not okay with me. And, um, you know, so just saying. So that is from Julie Beauty. I am probably going to get this palette. Not, not in PR, unfortunately. <laughs> 
I might have to purchase it, purchase it myself because that is what normal people do and I'm a normal person. Okay, so let me just move to the middle and we are officially done, my sweethearts. I hope you did enjoy yourselves. I extremely enjoyed myself. It is, um, my videos are becoming very, very long these days. So I hope you don't mind. And of course, if you have made it till here, then maybe just say hi in the comments so I know that you made it. That is so, so cool. And kudos to you. Thank you so much for the support and the love. And of course, as always, let me know what you think about the video, about the releases, about my lovely personality. <laughs> and the mothering and the hunking tr truck driver and uh, all of the above okay and beyond that of course don't forget to subscribe if you want to that would be absolutely lovely don't forget that there is a video coming up where i'm using this new palette from saints angel sinners and uh, i'm going to chat to you and uh, i hope you will enjoy that too and uh, that is it sweeties i'm going to see you here for my next video which is super soon most probably even still this week and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses. Bye.